Uh, this is an ROV robot my son and I have been uh, working with. Uh, we uh, wanted to go ahead and try to get it built up for an ROV class. They wanted to do a competition, but it just needed some help getting done. Uh, so what we did is uh, we had mounted these with some brackets right here, metal brackets. There's a screw underneath to hold these on. And these actually have a little chamfer in it to go on so they fit on all the way. And the ports right here are designed so that uh, water can go in and they're even beveled. Now let's see if I can get an angle of that. Yeah, see they're not flat right here. This is flat and then we bevel these with files that go inside. And that ensures that the uh, water coming out the ports uh, go straight out instead of just sitting there and spinning around in a circle like this it actually comes in and then goes straight out kind of directs it I put two on top to make sure that uh, it would go down now the tubes the tubes on the side here uh, you'll probably have to put like a little tire valve in here and uh, so you can uh, push air into it and then you probably need to put like a little valve or something on the bottom of the side to let water in and out. Uh, let's see. You could probably use a screw cap, but it was getting kind of expensive to buy all the PVC hardware. Um, the hook was actually placed in the middle on the bottom uh, with the balance point. The balance point is right about here on the robot. And initially somebody put a long tube like way out here and what happened is, as soon as we put any kind of weight on it that whole robot would just like tilt like way down like that so uh, we designed it so that you could use the robot to swing in and pick up stuff and the weight would be in the center of balance of the robot uh, the legs were added just to keep it up off the keep the hook off the bottom so the robot wouldn't you know tilt to one side when you set it down on something and that's what it's for uh, the holes in the ends initially we played with the idea of capping the capping the holes and making the whole structure waterproof but the more we thought about it, it says well if you end up with a problem with it being waterproof then the water will go in and it'll upset all the ballast and the balance of it so it made more sense just to leave everything open, let water flood into it, and then use the ballast tanks on top to actually set the ballast. So that's why all the holes were left open. Also, if you did that, then what would happen is uh, these screws right here, if you used, you'd have to use glue. Well, that meant if you needed to do any repairs or change the design, that you'd have to start all the way over because there's no way you're going to separate these pipes from any T connectors or you know four-way connectors or even an elbow without breaking it so it made more sense to just put stainless steel screws in it so they wouldn't rust and you could change the design as you needed and as we were going along we found out that was the case we needed to do some changes so it made more sense to leave it open see so one you wouldn't have to use glue you wouldn't have to worry about leakage problems and the uh, ballast being upset and you could change the design easily um, these were we left these connectors type push on type connectors on it so that if a motor had a problem you could just change the motor quickly like if you're at a competition you got a motor it dies instead of unsoldering a motor or something like that you could just change the motor real quickly um, these were the only real custom parts made. I uh, made them on my lathe in my garage and with some files and stuff. And, you know, we kind of combed them, tapered them down. So they got a sharp edge here and a sharp edge here and then a bevel edge here. So if the water comes in, it bevels up and out and then all the water just kind of flows out like this. Flows in and out or it fits in reverse or flows in the ports and then out this way and pushes the robot forward. Uh, without that, without the shrouds, then everything just kind of cavitates around the propeller and it, it doesn't have a lot of uh, thrust. So we figured that was easier. <coughs> and as far as the tether goes, uh, the tether cable was designed so that if you have a problem, if you have enough money, you could build several tether cables 
and uh, we hooked this on here so that you could just unconnect it or disconnect it <laughs> use some proper English and then change it like that so that's why that was and this was designed to swivel so as the robot is moving around it would swivel like that same thing goes here uh, it was designed so that you could disconnect the control box from it uh, we didn't get to the point where we actually put a 20 amp fuse over here so that we could disconnect it each one of these motors is supposed to take up the five amps so there's four motors there's one there two in the middle and one on the other side so that's 20 amps uh, so uh, as far as the, the remote goes um, we have uh, that would be like a left turn this motors forward this one's reverse right turn that one's forward this one's reverse over here now uh, this would be reverse both motors and backwards this would be forward both motors going forward and then the center one is up thrusters down thrusters and each one of these is 5 amp fuses and then it's got this in here uh, let's see I have a wiring diagram here somewhere let me go grab that also drew a wiring diagram for you guys uh, it'll be included on the CD when I was putting it together I actually got two of these wires reversed on the inside of the box so I was like well okay I guess that's just or I think it was on the outside so I had to reverse these two so I wrote the color codes in there and I drew a new one of these in the uh, CD that I'll give you guys so that you guys can you know at least know what's going on and these are the, like the little pin connectors on the side here right here and these right here are these right here and these are designed one's round and one square so you can't mix them up <clears throat> so that's if you'll notice here round square 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 so and then these polarities on here are reversed on on each end so this one like have pins and this one would be sockets that would be pin and that would be socket so that you couldn't mix these two up and you can't mix those two up so no matter how you hook it up it's gonna you can well let's put it this way you can only hook it up one way so that way the motors are correct and if you want to reverse polarity on motors um, the inside of the box I we're already together so I can't show you I made everything so it was either screwed on or pushed on so it was easily modulized the first time we got this box um, everything was soldered together and some of the solder joints were weren't very good and they were coming off and it was making the whole operation intermittent uh, this is not the same robot that we got <laughs> we uh, we did a lot of work on this thing and completely redesigned it and that's what we came up with I hope you guys uh, are able to use it for competition there's still a lot of work left to be done you still have to fill the tubes with water if the robots uh, uh, <coughs> too light in other words it won't die because there's too much oxygen in the tubes or you'll have to uh, you know add uh, add some buoyancy to it but either adding another tube or uh, something else on it maybe some foam uh, two tubes were chosen uh, to keep the robot stable one on each side so you will have to seal these tubes up though and you'll have to put some kind of valve in there to either let water in or out of both of them uh, if you did have the time you might actually even put an equalization tube across it so it would make it easier so you would only probably have to do it to one tube instead of both and you would probably have to put that equalization tube uh, on the bottom from here to there so that if any water transfer it would go from one side to the other you have to work that out <coughs> let you guys worry about that so anyways, again, the hook was placed in the middle on the bottom in order to make sure that the robot balanced properly. Yeah. Good luck with it, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, just uh, either write me a letter or get a hold of one of the teachers, and maybe they can uh, uh, get in contact with us, and maybe I can assist you with some things. But anyways, good luck. Hope you guys have fun, and have fun with the competition.